tires. Lots of tires. For just about anything with wheels. Cars. Trucks. Motorcycles. Tractors. Giant earth movers. Jumbo jets. Now under one minute to go in Atlantis is white. And the space shuttle. Now on final approach to the Kennedy Space Center. Here is down and locked. It all starts here. In Clermont-Ferrand, France. At Michelin's original mega factory. get inside a Michelin factory to see how they make their tires. That's because tires are big business. With lots of secrets. We invest heavily into research and development. Over 550 million euros every year. We have increased the amount of patents that we've generated, over 240 patents a year. As an American, I would say you're in the Silicon Valley of the tire industry. Financial stakes are huge. In 2010, Michelin's net income topped 17 billion euros. Take as many measures as we can to try to protect our competitive advantage. To compete, they hire experts in over 200 fields. Everything from chemistry to machine automation. In the mind of people, tar is very simple. It's a piece of rubber that potentially you put in a mold, you cook, and everything is fine. But making a modern-day tire is practically rocket science. They start by combining rubber, steel, and synthetics into more than 200 components. We will have several layers. We start here with the first one, which is a layer which prevents the air to go outside the tire. a specific type of rubber that we use. The main deal here is to keep the air inside the tire and have no leaks. They feed the different materials onto a drum and splice them together. It's very important to, to cut very well and the joint is also extremely important. They roll strips called bondolettes around the tire, which act like strands of heavy-duty packaging tape, holding all the layers together. To make the tire round is very, very difficult. All the different layers must be cut and aligned perfectly. of liquid to make sure that uh, everything sticks together very well.
here, two different other bands. It's going to be a mix of products to really make the core of the tower, but also a few bands to protect specific areas where the shear and the stress is very important. The tire needs to function for many you know, thousands of miles. Tires are under stress just holding up the weight of your car. That stress increases when you corner. Tires, any tire, is a highly engineered, complex part of your vehicle. Some can make you feel like you're flying. Others are specially designed to get you airborne. Michelin makes a lot of different tires. And they're all manufactured using similar methods. Here, you start to see two bands which are going to be receiving what we call a tringle. These are the steel circles that are used to keep your tire on the wheel. Strange. The first part of the building, the tire is not round, it's just flat. That's how we build it and make sure that all the layers are very well put together. These two bands here are the sidewall, okay? So you see that here it's flat, but later on we will inflate and you will see the tire really taking its shape. First, more rubber. And more bands. We put what's needed in terms of rubber, but not too much. Still more layers. And a modern twist. Barcode, very important to trace. So as you see, so you know exactly uh, who did it, when, so later on we can have the history of really uh, the tire throughout the plant, but throughout the life later on. We're going to put on the second machine to start the second stage, which is really building the top of the tire. So we can work now on a, an object, I would say, which is much closer to you know, what you imagine a tire to be. One key component in a modern radial tire is its steel belt. some small bundles to make sure that you uh, protect the tires against the stress. They place a long thick piece of rubber on the industrial version of a hot plate. Softening it before rolling it 
around the tire. start to see the tread, which is really what you see every day. We're going to pretty much finish the job by putting back the sidewall that you've seen. Okay, so you put it on the side so we could put the inside applies together. And now we are finishing by pulling back the sidewall of piece of rubber on the top of everything. You know, we have the feeling that it's one piece that you put on your car. Now it's a combination of many different pieces put together, but very well. To determine how well, they head to Michelin's Research and Development Center, where maximum security rivals that of a prison. Thirty-four hundred people work here. Some test on the track. Others in the lab. This is the largest research and development center in the Michelin Group. About seventy-five percent of our major innovations are studied here. building where we study all the relationship between tires and cars. Each drum recreates the temperature changes generated by the friction of the rubber against the road. One of the very important tests is safety endurance, and we do that on the machine. They are almost torture machines. extra load, extra heat, everything is extreme but to make sure that they will resist. A smaller machine simulates the pressures the tire faces on the road. Okay, we are at 250. And I do some plane change like this. Lane changes let the test driver compare one tire design against another. When I compare two tires, I will do exactly the same maneuver on the same place. Lane changes like this can get you arrested in the real world. But they push the tires even harder. 
to it, wants to rule the tire industry. So when they take high-performance cars into full race mode against fellow tire makers, Michelin wants to win. There's been a lot of competition recently with our high-performance tires. performance requirements are very specific. However, there will be learning from those programs for the regular vehicle. On regular cars, some people never check the air in their tires. But here, they do it before every test. Each tire is designed to provide its maximum performance at a specific tire pressure. This is a braking test on dry ground with identical vehicles, but with different tire pressures. For this test, the silver car has overinflated tires. Dark grey car's tyres have the right amount of air. So, the distance between the two vehicles is almost a vehicle length. difference that could mean a safe emergency stop, or a disaster. On this test, it looks like a disaster could happen any moment. Watch the rear tires. We can we can play here on the tracks, but not on the road. <laughs> this track is um, wet. It's uh, uh, polished concrete, very slippery. truck with the blue cap has different test tires that work better on wet ground. Just in front of us, you have the first truck, which is losing control. It keeps sliding. Watch how changing the orange truck tire's shape makes the wave become a splash. And you create just a small movement of water close to the ground, suppressing the, the, big, uh, the big splash. There's a simple reason that Michelin spends time and money to make tires splash less. Our future depends on our ability to compete. Testing never stops. Michelin keeps building tires. Lots of tires.
just about anything in the world with wheels.